Henry. This past Friday, the cast of Once on this Island performed as the showcase musical at the Wisconsin State Theater Festival in Stevens Point. In addition to performing two sold-out performances, Dominican won first place in the Tech Olympics, which took place Friday afternoon. Following a successful showcase, the cast and crew participated in the remainder of the festival, which consisted of attending other schools, one-act plays, and going to workshops. We talked to some of the cast and crew of Once on this Island and their unbelievable experience as a showcase performance this year. Bring our entire set and all of our props and everything to Stevens Point. And that was um, a good learning experience. Some of us went to the Techie Olympics where we got first place and brought home the trophy. It was really cool to see so many people so excited about, you know, one, like the same things we were excited about, performing for our peers and then having such an impact and them being so excited about seeing our show. Stay was really great. Uh, the crowd was super loud and it's an experience that I don't think any of us are going to forget soon. In other Dominican news, senior Bashila Jones signed her letter of intent to attend Concordia St. Paul this Tuesday. The event took place in the boardroom, and Dominican students attended to support their classmates. Um, I'm very proud of you and the fact that you know the opportunity has been presented to you to play collegially, and I'm sure that you'll make the most out of that. It's very rare that players like yourself that I've had opportunity to coach that come along, you know, playing and getting scholarships at a Division One or Division Two level don't come for every kid. If it is, I'd be a whole room full of people. Michelle has put in a lot of time, hard work, and effort and dedication to her team and to her craft. But the student part has to come first before the athlete comes second. You know, I want to say congratulations. Shea hopes to lead the Lady Knights to the same success they had last season. Both girls and boys basketball have their first game this weekend. We talked to players about their hopes for the upcoming seasons. I'm really excited for basketball on Friday. We play a little shoot and we're going to win. Even after losing JT and Braille this past season, I know we still have the talent, the guards, and the talent of Big Ben to get a repeat this year. Dominican students are looking forward to their much anticipated Thanksgiving break. Here's what some students and faculty had to say about their Thanksgiving traditions. For Thanksgiving, I'm looking forward to um, going to my cousin's house and seeing my cousins who are in college because they'll be back just spending time with my family and sleeping in and recovering from school. On Thursday morning, I'm driving up to Manitowoc with my family to visit my grandma and all of my cousins and aunts and uncles and eating food all day and turkey and lots of desserts because every family brings a different dessert. Every year at Thanksgiving, me and my family always go up to Madison for to see all of our cousins and my aunt like owns a restaurant up there so she kind of like closes it down so we can all just hang out there and have our little traditional Thanksgiving. Uh, well this is the first year that I've been invited to the uh, Marauder family get together for uh, Thanksgiving so I'm probably gonna meditate a little bit before heading out there. Uh, it's probably it's, it's a pretty big thing in my life but you know I guess we'll just take it a day at a time. Hi everyone! Well this is my Thanksgiving. There'll be a little like 35 people over at the house. But just remember there's always a light on and a door open. If you need a place, come on over. But to share the love and have a happy Thanksgiving. Now here's senior EJ Spencer with today's joke of the week. Thanks, Henry. First joke. Can a turkey jump higher than the Empire State Building? Of course, buildings can't jump. <laughs> Next one. What did the mama turkey say to her naughty son? If your papa could see you now, he'd turn over in his gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Last but certainly not least, why can't you take a turkey to church? Because they use such foul language. <laughs> I'm EJ Spencer, and those are your Thanksgiving jokes of the week. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of DHS Nightly News. I'm Henry Broder. And I'm Ellie O'Neill. Make sure to tune in next week. And happy Thanksgiving. Football. <laughs> it's funny because the O is big. Okay, it's fine. I will fix it.